Hey everyone, it's Shades. Today we're going to build a quick one wide tileable hopper timer. I designed this for a very specific reason, but I figure it's a design that's worth sharing. So to start out, you make your basic hoppers pointing into each other, place a comparator coming out of that hopper, and a block like that, and a another block down there with a repeater or a comparator. If it's a repeater, make sure it's on minimum delay. And then another block. Now you're going to place another hopper set together right there. And a comparator coming out of that set. And place your sticky piston right there. That's all you do. Um, and then you'll want to place one item in there. Okay. And then let's do the same with the other side. In fact, let's uh, let's stop that for a minute. So to review, you place a comparator coming out of the hopper. That comparator goes into a block. That goes into a repeater or comparator, which goes into another block. Then you take your hoppers again and put them into each other like that. Put a comparator coming out of that hopper there and place your piston right there. To program it, just place a redstone block on top and however many items uh, you want the delay to be. Okay, and then place an item over here and one item over here. And that is it. That's all you need to do now. As the items run out, this loses power, which sends the item over there, which sends the sticky piston, but the item returns, which pulls it back. So instead of uh, traditional hopper timers using pistons that push the redstone, this one's designed to pull the redstone like that. To get a signal out of it, you can do multiple things. I like to just do that right there, and that's the signal. As you see right here, it'll trigger like that. Okay. So this is the clock. If you want to turn it into just a timer, you can power this block right here on either side. So let me show you uh, what's a good way that I want to show you. Let's go like that and throw a torch right there. So now it's going to freeze until we push the button on that block right there. So now it goes and there you go. And it goes. Like it says in the title, this is tileable so you can build two right next to each other. Just like that. So as you see, this one has more items so it's taking a lot longer to reset. But it does not affect that one as it's going right now. Oh, I haven't put a torch right there. So it is not going to uh, stop. So with this design, you can have them lined up next to each other and have the player choose which time. Now they can select more than one at a time and they will both run at the same time, like so. One other thing to notice, uh, as you're building it, it might start to do that right there. If it does, notice there's items in here and only one item is going back and forth. Simply come over to the side which is having the problem and place uh, power on these hoppers for even just a second or so and that will fix it. So there you go, a simple one wide tileable hopper timer. This is Shades and I'll see you next time.